It appears there's no escape from teen activist Greta Thunberg. But what has she done now? And why is her battle cry now seemingly falling on deaf ears? Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the heart of London. Thank you for joining me today. And thank you again, one and all, all these brand new subscribers. It's lovely to welcome you. Now, we mentioned Greta because she does seem popular and has spikes, shall we say, of people agreeing with me and disagreeing with me. But I like to present the facts as we find them. So as we told you the other day, Greta decided to invite herself to COP26 up in Glasgow, regardless of whether there was a formal invite or not. But it's sort of taken a turn for the worst for Greta, simply because, <laughs> and I say this loosely, she decided to get, well, shall we say, animated outside some of the convention center. And she used expletives to a very young crowd. And I won't repeat them here, obviously we're a family channel, but you can imagine how stupid that makes her sound. I mean, you know, we know that she's not the brightest girl or the most intelligent speaker without her own script. But to do that when you've got these very young fans who are very influenced by you, then once you turn the parents off, then you lose your fan base. And that's what's happened to Greta. But there's more to it than that also, because our good old friends, the BBC, the British Broadcasting Corporation, have spent thousands of pounds wanting to interview Greta. We saw, of course, a documentary last year. Nobody watched that. And now we saw the BBC's political heavyweight, Andrew Margoshi, literally almost falling out of his chair to speak with Greta. Now, this particular interview cost a lot of money. I'm not suggesting Greta herself benefited from this interview, but when you add up the crew, the lights, the camera, the venue, the editing, you get the picture, it can become very expensive. Now, what did we learn from this, well, exclusive interview, which was on BBC Primetime Sunday morning political show, The Mar Show? Well, nothing, absolutely nothing. Greta as ever really couldn't speak without a script. She had nothing to offer. But what's interesting is the BBC thinks she's fabulous and they're also looking into doing another documentary, perhaps even following around Europe. Why? Who wants to see this? But as ever, remember, it's your licence fee paying money that is paying for this. Now, back to Greta herself. Has it been successful for her at COP26? Well, not really. You know, her aim really was to get near all the major leaders. She felt that when she arrived and she was there, they would naturally desire to meet her and be pictured with her. Well, that really didn't happen for Greta. So now she's in a bit of a soul, and we know what that means because we remember certain people stole her childhood. And do you remember the infamous walk by by the then President Trump? Well, when Greta's angry, she decides to lash out. And apparently she has big plans to make sure that Europe sits up and takes notice of the ongoing climate change. Or should we rename that sits up and takes notice of a petulant woman who's now reached 18 years old and nobody's taken any notice of? <laughs> As ever, let me know what you think about this particular story in the comments below. I couldn't possibly comment. Neil Sean in the heart of London.